Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my laundry room transformation in a rental space in Jamaica. Right now, my background, you guys probably see like the washer and dryer boxes, some stuff that I took out of the laundry room. But we're going to transform this space to make it cute. I'm going to use what I can and of course, I'm going to let you guys know everything, all the places in Jamaica that I bought these items from. Yeah, and I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite products at the moment, some little hacks, and of course my laundry routine. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned. Give this video a like, comment down below what your favorite part is in this video, and subscribe because I do a lot more Jamaican based videos similar to this. Now let's get into the video. I want to give you guys an overview of the laundry room so you guys know what we're working with. Okay. I had to put that up there because yeah. So here, this is a very bright light bulb. And then you go in, and this is the plugs that we're working with. Right here. And then here is it over here. Okay, so we're gonna work with this small space. It's a rental apartment. So yeah, I'm so excited to transform this space with you guys. All right, so this is the dryer I got. This is the washer I got. So originally I was supposed to get the washer and dryer at the same spot, but when I went to go purchase this, they did not have the dryer. They said it sold out. And thank God it sold out because they were charging 100,000 on the dryer. And I think I paid 82 on this dryer. So here's a washing machine. I can't wait to show you guys the feature of this washing machine. I paid 74,000 or five and I got this in Christiana at the Indian man in Celine Indian Court. I show him in a lot of my home rental vlogs. And then here, I bought this in Mandeville at a place. I don't know if I should tell you guys, but listen, with the dryer here, someone's call coming right now to install it because it has like an Asian based, like, um, let me see if I can show you guys. This is the voltage and it's 220. So someone professional has to come in and he's charging me like a good 20,000 to do this because of the stuff he has to buy and the setup and his time and everything. So whoever gets this apartment after me, they're gonna be well lucky because everything's already gonna be set up in this apartment. And yo, I wasn't gonna get it, but I have to get a dryer. I have to. This dryer is so small. It's like a dolly house dryer, but I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. I'm gonna show you guys this one. This one's so cool, it's touch screen. Once the man comes, we're gonna get into setting up everything. All right, so you guys wanna make sure that your rental unit actually allows for this type of dryer. My unit did, but it needed a professional to do it. And yeah, I was at first I was like, I could do this myself, but no, literally I cannot do it myself. So I had to hire him so he can install the dryer because the dryer's 220 voltage. And honestly, it's not like the Western plugs, as I was showing you guys. It's more of like the ones in Asia, China. And he was telling me that he has to wire it on the wall because they were supposed to do this prior to like... The electrician was supposed to be doing this prior to them like putting on everything in the apartment. So it's supposed to be inside of the wall, but now he has to put it on the outside. So it's kind of ugly, he was saying. But I was like, honestly, I have to work with what I'm working. So as you can see, this is all the wiring he had to do and he had to nail it in. He's drilling a hole through the wall just so it can look a little bit more seamless <laughs> than what we were working with, man. It was actually a quick process to do, I'm not going to lie. So after doing that, we started taking out the stuff. He was kind enough to actually do this for me. I just asked him, like, hey, can you just set this up the best as you can? Because I don't know what I'm doing. So he was like, okay, I'll just try the best that he could. So that's what we're doing right now. We unboxed the washer. This is how it looks. It's very small. I paid so much money. I'm like, this is so small. But I'm not complaining. You guys always say I complain. I'm not complaining. I'm just comparing it to Western washer and dryers compared to ones that they offer here in Jamaica. And this is my dryer that he unboxed. And it's cute. The only thing that I wish was that the washer and dryer was the same color. But that's not going to work down here, honestly. So this is it. And we're going to set it up. I was telling him, I'm like, put it over in the corner there because I want it to look as neat and I want the laundry room to look as big as it, as I can try and maximize it to be. And then we have to put the washer over by where the sink was. Now he was telling me that how he, the plumbing that was done here was not done the best because it looks like the guy put the hose and everything in the walkway, which is not practical. I was like, yeah. So right now we're just figuring out if it could fit between the sink and the wall. So yeah. 
Okay, we're ready to start now. So this is the socket that he bought. This is to turn it off, turn it on, and then this is the weird looking thing. And right here, I'm just showing you all the wiring that goes into the dryer. It was a lot of like wiring on the outside layer. And then now he's just putting on the circuit box, is it called? Or just this box that's going to have the on and off button. And just so that the dryer can plug right into it. So again, a professional could have done it. I'm Again, I'm going to say it again. I thought I could have done it because I feel like I can do everything, but I really cannot. <laughs> so that's why it costs so much money. I had to buy all the material plus doing the installation, as I told you guys. And it was a pretty penny. And the landlord didn't want to pay for this. So I was like, I need to do this. So I turn this off when I'm not using it, or do I leave it on all the time? I think I turn it off. When I'm not using it? Yep. Even now I can turn it off? Yeah. Or no. All right, so now he's going to try and do the condensation hose the best that he could. And yeah, so as we, I'm showing you guys here, we're finally done. And now I'm going to clean up the washing machine washing machine the laundry room and honestly i just feel like whenever i'm doing makeovers the place has to be as clean as it can get at the time because i just feel like i can't move forward working in an unclean environment so as you guys can see i'm sweeping i'm making sure everything is all tidied up because with all the drilling of course there was a lot of cement that went over everywhere i'm just adjusting the dryer to where I want it to be. I want to have this corner here just to put all the extra stuff that I want. And then as you can see, I have my cleaning products here that I'm going to use to clean out the sink because there was a lot of dirt in the sink, to be honest. So as you can see, I'm using these cloths here and I'm using that to clean out the sink. I'm washing it, making sure the place is like spick and span. I want the place to look so nice. Like it's like a brand new laundry. Anyways, let me know down below if you guys are getting ideas from this video i'm wiping down my appliances because they touch the appliances and i don't like germs to be honest and i just want everything to be super clean as i said 20 million times now as you can see there's like dirt on the wall and my walls are white and there's dirt on the wiring here because of course their hands are dirty so i was like let me try and wipe this down the best as i can and make it back white because the wiring was white but it turned brown <laughs> but here you can see i'm wiping off the walls and then i'm washing out the sink wiping off the washing machine because water got on it and then i'm mopping of course because we want a clean slate and then i'm like okay i want to take off the stickers off of here because i'm like that looks so tacky and it makes the washing machine look like low quality so i was like let me take this off and wipe this down properly and there we are and i'm like yes so now we're gonna make the laundry room smell good i got these plugins at walmart it was like a pack of i think it was like six or eight and i have them in almost every single room in my house i'm just plugging and because it's a laundry room you want your laundry room to smell super good and as you can see it's such a really quick fix and addition that you can add i i'm starting to realize that like smells are as important for your rooms of course we have like the clean smell but you want to add fragrance into the smell so it can smell good and i'm just plugging it in right here onto the socket and i'm adding my night light because i don't want in here super dark at nighttime so there we have it and here you go you guys can buy plugins anywhere in this world not a big deal all right it smells so good in here because of the plug-in good old plug-in so i have to get an extension cord because it's super far from my socket now i need you guys to help me is there a longer hose i can buy on amazon or anywhere please let me know because this hose is too short so i have to bring the I have to bring the drainage pipe or the drainage hose. I have to move the whole entire washing machine close to this because whoever did this rental unit just looked like he just put it wherever he wanted. He didn't care and then he just did his work and left. Okay, so let me know, please, guys. I really need you guys to help me on this. But I'm going to check Amazon. The only thing is, I went on Amazon and I saw some of these. It was saying that it was a universe. I saw universal drainage hoses for washing machines. But I don't know if it's going to fit because look how small these are. And this, I, I'm pretty sure this is made in China. This is made in China and this is made in China. So I'm just so scared. But I think I'm going to buy it and try it out. So they, he finally got this done and with. So as you can see, we cannot use this one over here because it's right in the walkway. So he did this. But I was asking him if he could have turned it this way or connected it to this one. So I could put the washer over here so I could just have the dryer and the washer by side by side instead of having it 
right here beside the sink. I don't really like how it looks, but again, this is a rental unit, so I have to work with what I want have. So since there's space over here, I'm gonna use it for storage. I'm gonna see if I can find shelving, removable shelving system. I'm gonna look at my interval tomorrow and see what I can find so I can put my products on. I'll show you guys my products in a bit. But yeah, so that's what we're working with right now. It's clean, I love how in here it is. It's super simple, but that's what I want, okay? So we're gonna take off the plastic off both of these. Yes. All right, guys, so I'm in the supermarket now. They finished installing the washer and dryer. When I go back, I can show you guys like the specifics of my washer, my dryer, and stuff like that. So I just wanna get a few things because I only have the detergent that I bought. But I wanna get blue soap for... No, is that $300? Honestly, guys, I don't know the difference in blue soap. There's some for $200, some for $40, some for $50. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm just gonna get this one. My hair looks so messy, you guys don't even know. Um, yeah, this, and then I'm gonna get bleach at the wholesale place. So, let's go see what else they have. see this downy fresh odor defense but they also have a small one but i don't know how much these are because you guys know that there's no replacing on anything so this is let me see if i know how much these are i think i'm gonna try the small ones and see what i like so this one and then they have this one here and then i think i need fabric softener Some of the stuff they have in here is in Spanish. I don't, I don't, I don't know what Spanish is. Oh, this is plant-based. You guys, you know, I don't think this is the one I'm supposed to buy. Really? Okay, we're in Smallings. I'm trying to look in here to see if they have some other stuff I can use inside my washing all of my things then. And they have the same stuff, it's all in Spanish. I don't know how to read Spanish, so I can't buy this because I don't even know if it's air freshener, detergent, not air freshener, air softener, detergent. I don't know Spanish. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna work with what I have because I don't see, you know I'm supposed to buy bleach? Meta Oak. This is the wholesale place I was telling you guys about. Okay, I'm in here now. I'm getting one. Is that the one that people carry with the handle? Right? Yeah. I need one gallon of So is it two ten or three seventeen? Yeah, it's three seventeen. The prices here are good, huh? Let's buy the bleach. Oh, it's my vlog for YouTube. Vlog for YouTube. Vlog. I don't know nothing about YouTube. You don't know nothing about YouTube? No. Yeah. So. Answer my phone. Hello. All right. Bye. So are, you, are you on TikTok? You go on TikTok and scroll. On TikTok. You're such a liar. <laughs> really? So you guys you can sure? come here and get wholesale stuff. Oh. Okay. Let me show you guys. So I'm showing them this, and people will support. Them. It's alright. Bleach <laughs> No, it's okay. Here's the bleach. This is only 370. This is what I'm telling you guys about. You guys know Christmas is coming up. So you can come here and check out if you guys want any full suits, men clothes. I see polo. What is that? Ralph, Ralph Lauren. What is that? Psycho Bunny. Psycho Bunny? Oh yeah, I can't see so far. Yeah, so they have Psycho Bunny here, everything. So you guys can come, there's some shoe. Here we are. We have a nice romper there. Oh yeah, that is nice. You guys can wear it out to a brunch. Anything that you guys need, one stop shop at the plaza here. Yeah, <laughs> they have everything. All right. Yeah, yeah, I got them in the broom. Hi, the lighting is good in here. I want to show you guys a few products that I have. So the first one is this Chris Morning Air Cleansing Gel Soap. I always keep a hand soap in 
laundry rooms, even if it's not my laundry room and I live there, I'm putting a hand soap in the laundry room because sometimes things get on your hand, products, bleach and everything like that get on your hands sometimes and you just want to wash your hands. And honestly, sometimes you come in here and wash your hands and plus my laundry room is right beside my main door. So when I come in, sometimes I just come in here and wash off all the germs. So this is from Bath and Body Works. I have actually so many of these. It's the white barn line. Yeah, so I'm going to put that up where the sink is. So let me show you guys the detergent. So I got this one. This one is the Gain Aroma Boost detergent. And I bought the wrong one. There was one with like orange and I think it was orange and yellow flowers. That was the one I was supposed to buy because I love the smell of it. And then I bought this one not even realizing because I was such in a rush. If you guys watch my Toronto vlog, you guys would see when I was shopping. And then I have some true earth equal strips as laundry detergent and they kind of have mold on them because i haven't used them in so long but i'm gonna use them and this is how they look i used a few before and they were okay so um it gives 32 loads per one okay and then i have some magic ken clean laundry detergent i had three can buy three in a pack because I use them for a lot of things to wash my, my brooms and my mom sometimes, yeah. And then I use it to wash like shoes, wash out rags. I use it to like wash any and everything you can use. And you can actually use this to wash your clothes. It has like a bleaching agent in it and it makes things so much more cleaner. Okay, I got bleach. You guys saw me getting bleach at the wholesale. Super affordable, can't go wrong. Okay, so I got these. These are the Downy Unstoppables in wash scent boosters. And this one's an older defense. I don't know if these are the same things or they're two different stuff. It says all day older neutralization. This is 12 weeks of freshness. I don't know, but I got these. I see people on TikTok and stuff using this and I don't know. And then I got blue soap for like bleaching. What is this stuff on it? Yuck. I don't know, but it's for like when you, ooh, made in Jamaica, for bleaching and stuff like that, like bleaching of whites. Okay, I forgot my, oh, I have this. I should have had it like this, you guys could just see both of my appliances. Yeah, so I have this, I took it out my bedroom. Because guys, when you, if you watch my bedroom makeover, I had this in my bedroom thinking I was going to put my laundry in it, but I live by myself. So whenever I take off my clothes, I walk straight to the laundry room and throw it in the laundry room here. So I'm just going to keep this in the laundry room. I don't put, I don't put dirty clothes in my room. I used to do that when I used to live with people because like, yeah, but since I live by myself, I just walk straight over here and throw it in here. So I'm just going to try and figure out how I'm going to position this in here to work or I might buy a smaller basket but i have a lot of clothes and this moves around so i might just keep it i'll see what i'm gonna do so this is my club size laundry detergent in a powder it says it does 150 loads so i'm gonna be good for detergent for a long time this is why i told you guys i didn't go to the store to get detergent just a little extra add-ons to add into the wash washer but yeah can i show you guys yeah here we go this is how it looks and a package tip i bought this at the superstore in canada a packing tip is if you're bringing stuff like this down open it and then you can put like uh what did i put i put cardboard paper in there like one of those type of papers in here and then on top of it i put products not food products over it so you can maximize space when you're shipping things down just to let you guys know for now i'm gonna think if i can find like a shelving unit to post like these smaller items this one i forgot i forgot my laundry why are they not coming to my mind i'm so used to hanging clothes out here that i don't even remember even though we do have a washer dryer at my mom's house we still just hang out clothes because yeah i live in an apartment i'm not hanging out my clothes here anyway so um you know the things that you put inside the the washing machine, I forgot to get the papers for them so the clothes don't stick together. That's what I forgot. I have a whole pack at my mom's house that I brought down, so I'm gonna go get it and bring it here because I'm gonna be using it more than they do, to be honest. So yeah, let's take off the plastic off these things. I'm thinking of putting lights under here, but it's not even that dark with the light on, to be honest, but I was like, hey, maybe I should put like sensor lights. You know the stick-on ones you can stick, stick, yeah. 
and they're censored, I'm thinking of putting some, but the light in here is super bright, so maybe I'm just being dramatic, but let's finally take this off. How satisfying. Let's take this off. Okay. Okay. This is for lint, so I would have to take it out sometimes and clean it. This is how it looks. It's so small, guys. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. Oh my gosh. It's so small, but it should hold enough that we need. I love it. And then, let me show you guys. So, this is basically all that it says. This is to start and stop it. And then you twist it like this. Yes. So now for the washing machine. I don't think I'm gonna take off the sticker at the top anymore because maybe it might help with protecting it since it's all touch screen or am I being extra? Okay, so on. I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so different for Jamaica. But then I was like, oh, I'm kind of scared because light always goes in Jamaica. So I don't want this to like affect anything. So here we go, we have program. I don't know what that means. Strong load, wool load, silk, fast, soft, standard, memory. And then if you want to clean. Oh, this is an air dry. Hold on, I hope they didn't sell me a two-in-one because that's not what I want. Silent wash, tub clean. Okay, no, I don't think so. Here is my water level in case I need more water or less water. And then how many times? Spin cycle. Do you want it to rinse? One time, two times, three times, that's different. I only need to rinse once, baby. Yeah, one time. And then you can put on for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, or five minutes. I'll probably put on for 20 minutes so it could just wash properly and then soak. I don't know what this, oh, this is for like bleaches if you want it to soak, but I'm not gonna do that. Or should I? No, but this is also cool. So here it is, Imperial, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So there we go. And then you can start and stop it. But yeah. So I bought this at Bashko and I think it was $3,000. If you guys want to see my home haul for Jamaica, I'm going to link it so you guys can watch it. It's on my channel and I share with you guys my finds in Jamaica. Now, I had this at my mom's house too. And literally, guys, this is all I can find at the moment that's affordable. And it's kind of good for organization. I'm going to tell you guys, it's kind of plasticky. It's kind of on the thinner side. It's not the best quality, but it works. It holds my stuff. It doesn't droop when I put heavy stuff on it. So it's literally working and it's white. So I feel like it'll work for anyone's house. So here it is as I am done setting up and it comes on wheels. That's the best part that I love. I can just move it anywhere that I want it and it just stays there. I love it. Try and get things when it comes to organization on wheels. So I'm putting all the products that I bought onto the organizer. I'm just making it look cute. Who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs> and I have my scrub brush here. I'm not going to leave it exactly like this, but I'm just trying to figure out how can I style it on the shelving unit. And then I have my detergent and things along those lines any other things that i'm going to use here in the laundry room as storage i'm putting it on the shelving unit so let me know what you guys think hi vlog so i'm going to tell you guys the truth about my laundry room makeover so i bought the dryer and now the brand is coming to my house to fix it because the dryer had water coming out the back of it and i never seen a dryer that came out the back like water come out the back of the dryer before and then the lady, like the call center, the lady that works at the contact center or customer service center for Black Point, she was asking if it was a washing machine. I'm like, no, it's not a washing machine. And she's like, do you put soaking wet clothes in the dryer? I said, lady, do you think today was the first day I learned how to wash clothes and, and dry clothes? Obviously, I don't. Obviously, when you take your clothes out the washing machine, it dries your clothes for you. Like it wrings it out and then you put it inside the... Yeah, so that's a problem. The second thing is whoever did the plumbing for the apartment, he looked like he just pushed anything anywhere and just did the plumbing and left because the drainage hose for the washing machine is like right where the walkway is and then the pipe for the water to come to the coming to the washing machine is right beside the drainage hose. Is that how it usually is? Huh? I don't know. They're right beside each other. So the way that my dryer is 
It's not going to work because it's right in the hot, hot dryer. Not the dryer. The way that my washer is, you can't put the washer right in the walkway. I wouldn't be able to come into the laundry room. So I had to push it beside the sink, which I didn't want because water will splash up from the sink when you're using it onto the side of the washing machine and then it's going to rust it. And the washer is some small little tiny house washer. And <laughs> the reason why I bought it is because I don't want to wash buy a washer or a dryer down here for over 100000 And the dryers are way more money down here. But the washer is nice. It's not bad or anything. It's nice. It's just that I just feel like for the quality, it's not worth the price. And same with the dryer. The dryer is a Dolly House dryer, but it is a nice dryer. So they're going to come. You said around 4 o'clock, and they're going to see what it is. If anything, they're going to have to give me a whole new dryer because I still have warranty. And yeah, hopefully it's just an installation problem. Like we didn't install it properly because the holes that, you know that holes on the dryer that's supposed to let out all the hot air? Nothing is coming out of it. They're, they have a condensation tank inside the dryer that you can pull out and empty out the water. No water is going inside of it. So I think all the water is coming out in the back. I would go inside my laundry room, guys. The whole entire washer, a whole entire wa laundry room was full of water. I'm here thinking it's from the washing machine. But it's from the dryer this all this whole entire time. So good thing I caught it ahead of time because imagine the water mashes up the whole dryer and then I'm out of 80-something thousand. I would have just started, I would have just gave up in life. Because down here is hard i don't know why jamaica is so hard it, nothing goes smooth down here for some reason and i was talking about that with a lot of people things don't go smooth like nothing ever goes smooth down here if you buy a car today something's gonna happen that you can't get the car same day or something always happens if you buy something today and you want to set it up something's gonna happen that you can't set up either the wiring is not done properly or the plumber it's just annoying nothing's ever smooth nothing's ever quick because the the system the way the system is they yeah make your life hard you yeah. go to the bank yeah. it's the same foolishness you can't go get a bank card the same day even though you spent eight hours at the bank so i don't know man it's so annoying i'll never lie to you guys and say jamaica's easy to live is not but you guys just have to just be willing to live down no here. update it was just an installation issue they fixed it they were very on time the customer service center for this brand was really good and it was prompt and i'd actually recommend buying a product from this brand because the warranty worked out even though the person i bought it from sucked but yeah and then i bought some more stuff for my laundry room in this basket here okay some of these stuff don't belong in here okay so what i got was this basket here and i'm going to use as my garbage bin I bought this in Spallings, if you're from the Manchester, North Clarendon, North Manchester, North Clarendon area. There's a town called Spallings. I bought it there. This was only, I think, $6.50. And it's chic and cute. I was like, okay. I put this in my laundry room, so it's going to be for garbage. Because I need garbage because of the amount of lint. And then sometimes when you wash your clothes, things fall out in the dryer in the washer, and it's like garbage. So, we want it for that. Okay, and then I bought the vinegar. So vinegar, I as I told you guys, I saw it on a TikTok. It said we need vinegar to keep like the smells away. That's not supposed to be in here. And then I got bleach. Honestly, I wasn't supposed to buy bleach. I was just supposed to buy the small scale vinegar. I wasn't supposed to buy the small scale bleach. Because I bought the big, huge bleach. My head. You guys see? This is why I write down lists. Because I don't know what I was thinking buying bleach. And oh. anyways, more than merrier. All right. And then the next thing that I bought was baking soda. Because supposedly baking soda is supposed to help with keeping your clothes white, smell good, all those great things. Another thing that I realized, not baking powder. Baking powder is what you cook with. Baking soda is what you can use for everything else like smells and stuff so yeah these are going inside my thing here's a garbage bin super cute i got this we can actually do this together i want the i'm gonna use the blue since the soap is blue i'm just gonna use blue i was gonna be all aesthetic and use the clear one but the blue makes sense because if i use the blue soap on the white one it's just gonna make it messy so blue and blue When I bought it from the store, they wrapped it up in here and I used it already. It said made in Jamaica on it. It was so cute. Yeah. So, blue soap. Put it in here. And some ventilation stuff, holes, I guess. 
Okay, I finally figured this out. Like, it took me a while because the water wasn't catching in here. I was like, oh my god, I have another problem. Okay, so the water is filling up right now. Let me see if I can show you guys quickly. Yeah, it, it's like automatic. Wait, is the water even filling? Hold on. Let's wait and see for a bit. I'm gonna use some of the eco strips for in the water. I'm gonna put them in right now, even though the water's still filling. I'm gonna put it in so it can like do that for now. And then I'm going to be using this to put inside of here. Sorry guys. Oh! Wait, this is just going in the water. Okay, what's the whole point of me putting in here? It's just literally falling down in the water. That was pointless. Someone told me on TikTok I can put these in the water. So, let's see. Honestly, if I see this pointless, I'll never buy it again, but oh, we'll see. Let's put a little here. Mmm, mmm. Then we'll put some of this because I don't know what the difference is. I read it like 50 million times and I still don't know what the difference is. Let me show you guys my water now. <laughs> this is my concoction. We're going to make the water run and while the water is running it's going to like mix up everything. I don't like putting it on my clothes. I want to put it in the water. It's mixed well then we put the clothes in. Yeah. Okay, so this is it, all mixed up, and now we're gonna put the clothes in. <laughs> so I don't think, this is all the clothes that I have to put in for this load. I feel like, like I have a bed sheet. I feel like this is too small for me to put a lot of clothes in. So I'm gonna see how far, how much clothes I can put in these things. Did the water even go all the way up? I'm gonna put the water up more. What I like. Okay, so here it is. You guys don't want to see how much clothes I have. And if this is the only amount I can put in my washing machine, <laughs> I'm going to wash it for a few days. So yeah, let's get into it. So we're going to close this back. Close and press. There we go. Hi, you guys can see me. I'm all done. So now we're going to turn on this and say goodbye to my JPS bill. <laughs> I didn't know this was touch screen. So these are all the dry clothes. I decided to put it on this one, Standard Synthetics, and it dries better. And then these are the wet clothes that I'm going to be putting in. So this basket really does come in handy. Okay, I'm washing whites now, and I heard putting baking soda in is good. So I'm gonna put some in. I saw it on a TikTok. So we're just gonna experiment. I like experimenting. Vinegar, I heard is good, so we're gonna put a, um, a little bit of vinegar in here. Then I have bleach. Let me know what are your suggestions for washing whites. Let me know, because I always wanna learn. So that's it for my laundry room makeover, guys. Remember, this is just a rental unit, so I'm just going to try and maximize the space that is given to me. Now, when it comes to my own house, that's different. But yeah, if you guys did like this video, make sure to share it, comment, like, and definitely watch my other makeover videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Au revoir.